All right, so it has been what, two weeks. Um, this actually came in five days, which is unheard of for eBay. Quite nice, actually. Um, so this is the motherboard. It says address and shit, so can't see where I live. It's creepy people. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna do an unboxing of this and I will make a, another video or maybe it'll be in the same video, I don't know. Um, of me testing it. So, yeah, let's get to it. So, here's the box. Let's unbox it with, uh, of course, this knife. So, yeah. Also, while I'm unboxing this, I'm probably going to explain something. The reason it's two weeks later is because I was actually on a trip um, in Michigan. So I went to Michigan for a week and a half. Um, that is the trip that I was on. And I did a vlog throughout the entire thing. So you guys are going to be seeing probably all... It's going to be a multiple, like, like kind of like a series of videos. That they're all going to come out during one week. So you might not see some videos from me for a while. Or at least some decent ones. Because I'm going to be working hard on that vlog. So yeah, just going to say that for right now come on i don't want to ruin this motherboard bro this is something i really need okay you can see we have a lot of packing peanuts interesting enough i mean good with packaging so here's the motherboard which is actually upside down so we have the motherboard this looks pretty decent but, I don't know. Let's take a closer look at it. You can see it is... Wow, that's actually packaged quite well. Alright, well that's not going to help. Come on now. Damn it, I'm out of frame. <laughs> so... Eh. Okay. So in order to cut this open, I have to actually, you know, li literally cut it open. Oh god, don't stop tipping like that. This is a very, um... Not expensive piece of equipment, but it's, you know, it's worth a decent amount to me. Wow. Look at that beauty. So this is an MSI 760GMA-P34FX. The main things I was going for is a new motherboard. The USB 3.0 was another thing I was really going for. Especially because the case that I also have has a USB 3.0 header that I really want to use. Oh my god, please don't tell me you only have two fan headers. So you have a fan header here, and you got a fan header up there for the CPU fan. They're both PWM, which is nice. That's it for fan headers, sadly. So yeah, this is good. It's in pretty good condition, too. Like, if you take a look around this motherboard, it looks really good in condition-wise. So we're gonna set this over here. I guess we could test it real quick. So this thing is a behemoth, so I had to go wide angle for this. It might not look the best. Uh, yeah, this is a behemoth of a case. This is the Corsair 275R Airflow. Uh, this case is awesome to build in. That's the current system that uh, I'm trying to get running. That's the motherboard that broke. Well, it didn't break, it was... I, I got it fried, so... Oh well, oh well. Let's get rid of this panel real quick. Let's get this motherboard out of here and uh, grab the CPU and uh, we'll test it. Now, I did put this CPU cooler in. This is actually a... Um, yeah, this is a prison cooler. An AMD prison cooler you get with like a Ryzen 7 or a Ryzen 9. Uh, my friend actually had has a Ryzen 7 3700X, but he has an AIO that he's using with his. So, I was like, can I borrow that cooler? Because I don't have any other coolers that actually work. So, this is what I had to use. And it is pretty tight on the CPU right now. I'm going to see how this comes off. I'm, I'm afraid of something. Oh, that did not sound good. I hope she turned out all right. Holy shit. It, 
it pulled the damn thing right out of its socket. Oh my god. Oh. No pins bent. See any pins bent? I definitely put way too much on here. I know that for a fact. Another thing you do have to watch out for uh, is getting this on your clothes. The specific thermal paste that I'm using uh, stains anything and everything. No, I don't have any like rubbing alcohol or anything at the moment. That's downstairs somewhere, buried somewhere, so. I'm just using regular paper toweling to clean this off. This is your AMD FX 6300. See, 2011 AMD. Yeah, she fits in place. Works. You can just drop that down. And there you go. That's installed. Uh, next up, the RAM. And now we can install the RAM. So we are, we have, it's a Nanya, four gig sticks. It's gonna be a total of eight gigs for right now. It's all I got. I wanna get a better kit at some point. That's like a 16 gig kit. It's fully in. Uh, I'm not putting the cooler on yet. Cause I'm just gonna slap that one on. Uh, next thing I can do is put the Grax card on. So I'm gonna raise this up a little bit. So we pretty much have this pretty much all ready to go. So I'm gonna get this all plugged in here. All right, so I think I got it now. Got to go over here. It's gonna come up on that motherboard or that that monitor. Power supply's on, so we got power. So let's uh short her out and see what happens. Come on. Please show me something. Please show me something. God, I'm so happy. Oh, it works. It works. It works. Um, I guess let's, uh, let's put it in a system and, uh, let's run it. So we have the case completely gutted out and we're going to set the system in just easy. Oh, well, kind of have to put the IO shield in first. So yeah, all right there, uh, there you go. Let's uh, screw it in and get going. All right, and now we gotta put the power supply in and uh, start riding cables. Okay, so this is what it's looking like now. Uh, I finished, it's got all the fans connected, power supply is in there, everything. Everything's connected, everything's literally ready to turn on and work. Hard drive is right there, it's under, it's right behind this. You can see the screws there. Holding it down right there, um, and then the SATA, and it's connected. SATA's actually connected. Everything's all good. That USB 3.0 is really taking a hit right now. I wasn't expecting it to be all the way over here on this motherboard. I was expecting it to be like somewhere over here, easily reachable. But this thing is literally going like across this way, up to where this over here is. And there she is, boys. Look at that. We're gonna power it up, moment of truth, and try and boot into Windows. Let's do it. So I'm gonna go wide angle for this, so you guys can actually see everything. Look at that. So we're gonna turn the power supply on. We're gonna go over here and press the power button. Oh my god. It's silent. Let's go. It's silent. That's awesome. Yes. Yes. Come on. Find the boot drive. The boot drive's right there. The boot drive's right there. We've got it. What do you mean? There's a bootable di device there. It's right there. You've got it. Why does it say 2.2 terabyte infinity? 
That's kind of weird. Okay, so I have the system up and, oh, well, not up and running yet, but I do have a different hard drive in here. This is the one from my other system. It already has Windows 10 installed and all the NVIDIA stuff so that it can automatically install the drivers for the 970, and it should boot straight into Windows. And I do have an Ethernet cord running from my um, router over here, so yeah, let's turn it on and uh, pray that it works. <laughs> let's do it. And so I got it to boot with the other drive. I had to do some things in the BIOS, but right now it is booting. And uh, it's working. It doesn't look very good though. <laughs> so I'm installing drivers for this. And my time for Wi-Fi ends at 9. And it's 8.58 right now. And this, I'm, I'm worried that this is going to take a lot more time. And it won't install. Uh, that's what I'm worried about. I don't know, man. I want to get it working tonight, but we'll see. So it's getting ready to get it going. It, the Wi-Fi is about to end. I mean, it's done, like, downloading. But I don't know if it needs anything else in order to install it. I'm very worried right now. I'm very worried. It's currently 9 o'clock. Well, shit. It's currently 9 o'clock. And we got it working. It installed. It installed. I'm so happy. Look at that. Look at look at that toolbar. Why is it transparent? That's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That looks pretty good. That actually looks pretty good. Those are my settings. And like pretty much everything is on high, except for the friender distance. But it it's pretty good. This is also Java edition, so it's. Not the best, but hey, this is a lot more snappy than than uh, with the other one. So that's awesome. This works pretty well. It's probably gonna perform a lot better in like FPS titles too. But hey, it works. Let's go.